Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. So, in this is the fourth video in the series of uh, cluster configuration. Uh, in the previous video, we learned about how to set up Slurm queuing system on the login node or the server. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to set up Slurm on the compute nodes the nodes which will actually work or run the calculations or, or the computations for you. So uh, uh, after I have installed the Slurm on login node, uh, I, uh, I'll just check if it is running on the login node and then we'll move on to the compute node for installation. So on the login node, just verify uh, the status of the Slurm database diamond and uh, you can see that it is uh, running and it is active. That is the main thing. Uh, and if I check the status of the Slurm control diamond, uh, you can see that it is also active and running. Uh, don't worry about these error codes yet. If they are running active, it's all right. We can uh, later on fix all the other errors if, uh, if we really need them. All right, so um, now we will move on to the compute node. Uh, here is the compute node. You can see that uh, the previous was the... Uh, server and this is the compute node. So now we will install the Slurm on the compute node. So now we will configure, uh, we will do all those steps that we have done on the login node for Munji user. Uh, this is very important uh, to keep the uh, ID, user ID and the group ID of the Munji user across all the clusters. So we will export Munji user and the group and then add the user with all these settings. Uh, similarly, now we will assign the user ID to Slurm user and then we will assign the group ID to Slurm user and run this command. This is all done. Now the next step was to install uh, Munji itself. Uh, just, just a minute here. It, so now it will install uh, Munji on on the login node. It is installed. After installation of the Munji, uh, it is important to copy the uh, the Munji key that uh, we actually put in the NFS file system. So if I go to cd slash NFS slurm, I can see that there is munji.key. I need to copy it to the <coughs> to the uh, etc slash munji. So I'll just use that copied command. I'll copy this key to slash etc slash munji. After that, we need to set the permissions on the Munji key uh, so that uh, this is owned by Munji and uh, only Munji user has access to that key, not any other. And that is all done. So Munji is ready and uh, now we need to enable it and uh, then we need to start it. So if I enable it, and later on started with this command, it's all done. Now it is time to install the slurm on the compute node. So to install the slurm on compute node, the command is the same uh, as we did on the login node. Uh, we, we will install only slurm-wlm, not the database diamond, not MariaDB server, anything else on, on the compute nodes. Compute nodes will only have the Slurm WLM. And uh, here we go. It is installing Slurm WLM. After it installs, uh, the next step would be to copy the uh, Slurm.con file and Slurm uh, SlurmDVD.con file to the compute node. So it is installed. I'll just clear the screen and copy the uh, slurm.con file we have put in the NFS file system to slash etc slash slurm. And after this, I need to copy the slurmdbd.con file as well. These both are copied now. 
After copying these, uh, the next step is again to create some folders where we will host the log files and other things. Um, these are similar commands that we did on the uh, on the compute uh, sorry login node. Uh, there will be some difference, so just uh, just make sure. Oh, all right, sorry. Here uh, we need to actually switch to the root user or or use sudo before every command. I prefer login to the root, so it makes things easy. Um, I'll just uh, repeat the previous command as well. mkdar, I believe if it is already there or not. Now I will change ownership of uh, this file to slum and then set the permissions on these files. Next, we need to make another folder slash var slash log slash slum. It says that already exists, no problem. We will use that one. Then we need to create slurmed.log file where slurm will put all its, uh, its log. And then uh, we need to set uh, the ownership of this log file to slurm so that it can easily write to this file and then change the uh, permissions on this slurm folder so slurm can uh, read and write this folder easily. So another thing is now to add the slurm to the temporary file system tempfs. Uh, for this I'll just create this file as I showed you and put these lines over here similarly as we did in the slurm uh, control diamond uh, on the login node. Now this is the compute node. I have saved this file so uh, last few permissions on the uh, on the folders we just created we need to create the folder slash run slash slurm uh, and then i will just add a file name slurmed.pid in there and uh, then make slurm owner of this slash run slash slurm give the uh, permissions to the slurm group as well for this folder and the last thing is to set the correct permissions on the folder so this is all done now one more thing remaining uh, we need to uh, add the path of this uh, these folder to the slurmed.service and uh, here we go, you can see that uh, the PID file we created in slash run slash slurm, but it is uh, showing slash run slash file name. So I'll just add slurm over here, here, so that it is correct. Control O, Control X, that is saved. The last command in this uh, compute node is the C group mount point configuration. And it is done as well. Now, if you run the command slurmed space dash capital C, you should see something like this, the name of the node and everything. That means no, uh, slurmed is configured correctly on this node. Now, we need to enable the uh, slurmed.service. Enable. Now, you start slurmed.service and after that you can see the status of the slurmed.service and you can see uh, it is active and running there are a few errors for to remove those errors i will first of all reboot the compute node after you reboot it you will uh, then then we will come back and check uh, this service again and uh, then try to ping the uh, the compute node the login node as well if it is responding or not okay the system has restarted the compute node now we will check the status of the slurmed dot service uh, you can see that it is active and running and now i will check if the compute node can talk to the login node so the command for that is s control ping we will ping the 
uh, slum controller and yes if here we go it says slum controlled at hrg server is up it means it can talk to the slum controller um, and uh, successfully connect it to the to it now i will come to the slum uh, control node or login node and run here as info command it will tell me the status of the node so i have total five compute nodes and uh, one uh, login node so you can see that i have set up the uh, slum on compute nodes number one and two they are shown as idle uh, the nodes 3, 4, 5 are still uh, not connected and uh, Slurm is not installed on, on them so it, their state is shown as unknown because uh, my slurm.conf file contains the information of 5 nodes Slurm is trying to show me the status of all of them so for 3 it cannot connect or it doesn't know where are they uh, and 2 nodes are actually up and they are idle in idle state mean they are ready to run the calculations so from here you can submit any jobs uh, using the slurm script uh, you can uh, use the sbatch command to submit a slurm script uh, and to know more about what is a slurm script how it works you you can go to the slurm website and uh, there is a lot of uh, guidelines over there um, this is all about setting up a cluster and uh, uh, you can see that nodes are compute nodes are talking to the uh, login node and uh, it, it is working perfectly the next thing uh, is to install different software on the nodes and uh, the uh, compute nodes and the login node uh, so that you can uh, specifically use different uh, customized software tools uh, I will uh, try to talk about some of the software I use at my group uh, in the next video and uh, you can you can install any software or you can simply run any uh, script python script or, or anything else using the slurm uh, queuing system um, th th that was all about uh, setting up a cluster i hope you would have uh, got uh, got some knowledge about setting it up uh, and uh, of course when you will practice you will face uh, some challenges and something sometimes things don't simply work and uh, you have to just uh, play around a bit with them uh, but anyways you can uh, google for for the errors or you can also uh, post some comments and i'll try my best to help you as much as i can and as, as soon as i can thank you very much for watching um, have a great day ahead bye bye